Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another Splish Splash movie. This time we'll be looking into an al alternative uh, way to uh, make lures like these. These are my own, the, the jerk that I made from balsa. And uh, although uh, balsa is very easy to shape and uh, work with, it also has some disadvantages. Uh, larger fish will be able to uh, damage the lure. Uh, when uh, shaping a lure in wood, you will uh, never have a totally consistent um, uh, result. Uh, sometimes they be a bit thicker, sometimes they'll be a, maybe a, a, a bit um, uh, crooked or something like that. And um, there will be uh, a, a, the result will be slightly different each time. Um, so a way to uh, get around this is to uh, take a totally other uh, approach uh, and um, for me uh, this has turned out uh, to be something like this. I will try to, uh, to mold these in, uh, in plastic and um, this will have the result that it will be very easy for me to uh, make them exactly alike each time and it will be much harder and uh, much quicker of course. So um, that is what we're going to look at this time. To make a master I've started out by making a plaster cast of one of my lures. Then cut a funnel in the cast to be able to use the cast as a mold. Then I lubricate the mold with a generous layer of Vaseline to make sure that the plastic doesn't stick to the plaster. I put in an internal wire like the one I used for the balsa version and close the mold. The jerk weighs around 40 grams, I mix up just on the safe side of 40 grams of plastic. To make the plastic easier to shape and sand, I add an additive called glass bubbles. This also makes the plastic float. You mix this with part A of the plastic before you mix it with part B. Then it's just a question of filling the mold and wait for a while. Well, the cast has now had uh, four hours to, to uh, cure, and I think uh, I'll try to open it. I'll just check it. I, can, I don't think I probably have to use a little force here. I'll try again. Sorry, like that. Here we go. That is looking awesome. Like that. Oh yeah. Just uh, break off some of the, the edges here. Well, it does really look uh, quite fine, very smooth. Um, so um, my next step will be to um, first of all clean this up, and then I'll uh, I'll start shaping it because I would like to have some some gill plate on it and um, remove the eyes, and I would like to make a, a socket where where I can uh, put the eyes. Uh, uh, on, on all the, the ones I cast from this. 
maybe fins, I don't know, I'll just try to see uh, how it turns out. But anyway, uh, now I can get on with the, with the master here, so, um, well, let's see how it turns out. I start out by drawing the shapes I want to cut on the lure with a pencil. Then I cut along the lines with a sharp knife in a 90 degrees angle. And on one side you cut into the previous cut in a low angle. If you have a drill that is big enough, you can use that to make the eye socket. But I want to use oversized eyes, so I follow up by using a grinding stone. I finish up by sanding some of the details. Well, I'm uh, quite satisfied with my master now. I think uh, this will be very nice. Uh, so all that's uh, left now is to make a silicone mold from this one, and um, well, then we're ready to make the first casts. Well, as you can see, uh, I'm now ready to uh, make the first half of my mold here. Um, this is not supposed to be a mold making. Uh, video so uh, I'll just go through this briefly as you can see I've pushed my um, my master halfway down in some modeling clay I've added some uh, small dots here that will serve as uh, steering guides for the finished mold and I have attached uh, uh, a bit that will um, do as a funnel when I should pour in the plastic apart from that I've made a frame from some Lego and uh, I will now uh, push that in to make sure that there's no leakage when I um, fill in my um, my silicone and the only thing left for me to do now is to uh, make sure that the silicone doesn't stick to my master and I'll just do that by um, by brushing my my um, my bait uh, my master over with some uh, Vaseline here so um, I'll start by doing this making sure that um, everything has a layer of Vaseline. Well, uh, now uh, I just have to mix up the, the silicone and uh, of course, as always, I don't want to use too much. So I have uh, calculated the, the, the size of uh, what will uh, be as much as uh, two rows of um, of Legos, and that gives me about 145, uh, 50 uh, um, milliliters of uh, of silicone. So um, I weighed that up in, in here. Well, the, the, the mix is ready now, and um, what I'll do is I'll start by pouring in uh, just uh, some of it, and with a brush make sure that all the essential parts uh, have no bubbles before I pour in the rest. So, um, let's see. Just some of it here. Like this. And I'll just 
just and then I'll pour in the rest. Well, now it's just a question of uh, waiting uh, 24 hours for it to uh, to cure, and then we can uh, flip it over and uh, do the other side. Well, as you can see, the the, the first part of the mold is now um, finished, um, and I'm ready to do the second part. Uh, I will now uh, reverse the the frame and give it a layer of uh, Vaseline and then uh, pour in uh, part two. Now we are ready to, uh, to pour in the, the second half. I just need uh, to show you a few things. You can see that um, I've um, replaced the funnel with a new and uh, bigger um, implant. And um, beside that, I have put in some small pieces in each uh, of, of a modeling clay in each eye. This will make it more easy uh, to uh, to do uh, to do the casting, uh, even if you have some uh, wires that are not uh, matching the uh, the one that I used for the master exactly. So this is it, and um, we'll just uh, get on with the second part. Now the, the second part is uh, cured, not fully, and it probably needs a few hours more, but um, I'm very anxious to see the results, so um, I will start uh, opening the mold here, excess here, just take that off. As you can see, the, the funnel I made, uh, it's right here, so I should be able to use that to crank open the mold. And uh, voila. This tends to get stuck a bit. Well. Here you go. As you can see, um, it's looking quite well. Um, I um, I don't see any bubbles in it or anything, so um, this will be quite fine to uh, to mold some lures from. Like that. Well, it's now time to figure out uh, how much uh, weight should be added to the the bait and uh, where it should be placed. And to do this, I have uh, this little uh, water tank, and I have taken one of the my old baits uh, that is um, known to work. So um, I'll just start by placing that in water here. As you can see, what I will be going for is. Uh, a bait that is uh, just barely floating and uh, is tipping a bit to the front. So this is what I'm going for in my master and let's see, um, just slide this one to the side, let's see how the master does. Well, as you can see, there are several problems. It is floating very high. I, um, I knew that because I put in uh, quite a lot of the micro bubbles. And also, it is uh, it is turning turning over, so uh, it needs to have uh, some weight uh, placed uh, low in the bottom body. 
Um, but uh, apart from that, it's okay, just as expected. I'll just take it here and I'll wipe it off. And I'll start placing some weight. Um, I have these uh, small uh, weights that I'll be using. And I'll just uh, start by sticking them on uh, with a piece of uh, tape, uh, duct tape, to see um, how we're going. So I'll start out by adding this one somewhere to the front like that okay well i start out by placing a weight here in the front just below the head and let's see how that works okay you can see right away that that was actually too much um so um i'll have to find a smaller weight Stick on while it's wet. Well, this was actually not that bad, but still, it seems to uh, be a little high in the head end. I would like a little more weight and a little further forward than this, as you can see. Um, the the original is uh, a bit heavier in the head, so. I'll see what I can do here. How I, does I have one? Do I have one that's just slightly smaller, a bit bigger? This one, yes. Well, I think that this is exactly how I want it. Five point eight grams of. Uh, weight and you can see they're hanging just about the same way once this one um, has a, f a few layers of epoxy I think it'll be just the same way so I'll have to figure out how to place the, the, the weight as close to this as possible I'll start out by marking the position of the weight Well, I actually uh, already have done uh, the first cast of the mold uh, with the, the weight included. Um, and um, I put on some hooks and um, went out to uh, a lake uh, to, um, to make sure that the weight and uh, uh, the placement uh, was uh, right. And um, in these clips you can see uh, uh, how um, how the, the movement of the, the jerk bait uh, was. Well, now I'll, I'll do another uh, cast of the mold. As you can see, I've already made uh, some internal wire. I did this by using uh, my old rig from the, the Balsa Lua project to, to bend the wire. Um, for some reason it doesn't fit 100%, so I have to do a little bend here to make it fit this mold. I don't know exactly why. Apart from that, I've uh, transferred the two marks from the master to the mold to see uh, where the, the weight should be positioned. And then uh, using uh, some, some thinner wire that is much easier to bend, I can then uh, position the, the weight uh, within the body uh, according to the marks and as low in the, the body as possible. So, well, the, the mold is ready now. I have um, given it a thin layer of, uh, of Vaseline to make sure that um, the 
the plastic doesn't stick and then it's just a question of uh, putting the, the mold together. I've made two pieces of um, of uh, wood to uh, to stabilize the mold and I'll just do some uh, rubber bands and I use some rubber bands to uh, to hold the mold together. Doesn't require that much. So this one is ready. Now I just need to mix up some um, some plastic. And to do that, I have a little weight here. So um, I know exactly how much I need to I should use. So I'll just get the right one here. Just make sure it's mixed thoroughly this and I need about 16 grams as close to as possible so let's see it isn't really that much 16.8 here that was fine and that'll give me 33.6 which would require then if I need 10% of the glass bottles I require 3.3 grams, so I'll just add that here. Point 0.8. It's quite a big volume uh, of. Uh, this that should be mixed into the mix here. There we go, 3.3 grams. Like that. Have a little mixer here. And I'll just start by mixing the glass bottles here with the part A. I've probably said all this before, but anyway, this is getting quite thick that'll change when I put in part 2 or part B well like that just grab another cup here and once again 16 grams of that approximately Like that. Okay, on with the lid. And um, then I'll just pour, pour this one into the other part and mix it thoroughly. Thoroughly. Yes, yes. Like that. Mix, mix, mix. This is actually when where it uh, gets very fun with the plastic. Uh, when doing the, uh, a wooden jerk, this part here would take me way much more time. I've probably used about 10 minutes to do the wiring and a uh, few minutes to do the weight and um, just a few minutes here. So let's say in, in all I might have used uh, uh, 15 minutes to make the preparations for this one and um, this is actually all I need because now I have this and I'll just have to pour this in and then wait for a little while and then the lure will be all done I think compared to the wooden one I would probably use in all to make a wooden uh, lure I'll use at least an hour maybe an hour and a half this just need to uh, to cure now and um, well then it's all done 
So 20 minutes and I could do another one. Well, uh, about a half an hour has passed and I think um, this one is ready to uh, come out. So um, let's have a look at it. Let's just take the rubber band off. And uh, as you can see, Yeah, it is. Not much, uh, actually, most of the, the finer um, parts here, you can just break off with your fingers. This one up in uh, the funnel, I think I'll uh, cut off with a, a saw and then um, just do the fine work with a knife. But uh, all the rest of it is just uh, more or less just to, to do with your fingers. So, well, that's it. Amazing stuff. We're almost ready now to uh, to paint our lures. Um, the only thing left is to um, first of all uh, run the mower with some uh, sanding paper. I use uh, wet sanding for this. Uh, it needs to be uh, quite fine uh, sanding paper. Um, and apart from that, I'll just uh, wash them in uh, normal dishwashing soap, and then uh, wipe them over with some uh, alcohol. Uh, all uh, to uh, remove uh, any traces of the Vaseline that will be uh, able to uh, ruin both paint and, um, and um, epoxy. jerks are now almost ready to get the, the epoxy. I just need to uh, put on some ice. Normally perch probably would have some uh, orangey eyes but um, I only have these red ones so that will be it for these. this well not that bad if you ask me so just uh, now we need to go and uh, put on a, a few layers of uh, epoxy and uh, well then they're finished well it's uh, finally time to do some test fishing of the new plastic jerks and um, I'm out here by uh, the brackish waters here uh, by south of Zealand and, and uh, with me today I have a, a plastic jerk with the true perch pattern. I have uh, 
one with a cart like uh, pattern like this one and then I have uh, two that isn't uh, really imitations of anything but uh, patterns that I know will fish well so um, I hope uh, that I'll get some uh, nice fish on the, the new baits Big, but uh, at least the pike on the on the new plastic jerk. Pike, but uh, I just had uh, two takes here that I didn't get, and just uh, just by the weeds here. So let's see. Might have found the, the medicine today. Nice and easy. Come on, My little friend. Yes. the bait is uh, working so um, we'll go back like that Tried another pattern and um, it seems to work as well. This is my uh, my cod-like uh, pattern. Once again, it's not a, a very big pike, and uh, it seems that they are hanging out uh, just at the edge of the the weeds here. So. Um,
God damn it. Well. That was the best pack of the day so far. Just walked there.